Hi, welcome to Physics 20 Through the Hub. I'm Mr. Dave Madsen and I'll be your teacher for the course. I just wanted to take this opportunity to talk about a few things that you'll need to know in order to get started for the course. First of all, uh, you'll see the main screen here. Uh, you'll notice obviously this large picture here, followed by a brief description of what the course is all about. And below that is when you're really coming to the meat of the course. You'll see there's a course outline here and of course when you click on the course outline it'll bring up the course outline, everything that you need to know for the course. And then below that there are three introductory activities that I'll ask you to do. Uh, I'll just briefly go over the first one and leave you to do the, the last ones. Uh, the first one is called Introduce Yourself. When you click on that it basically pops you up to the forum page where it gives you a description right here of exactly uh, what this activity is all about. Uh, the whole point of this activity is to for us all to just get to know each other. There's going to be quite a few of us in this course, including me, the teacher, and so we'll all just post a little uh, description of who we are, what kind of stuff we like to do. And also right here, here you'll notice uh, it asks you to comment on at least two other people's posts. That's just to help build that sense of community so we can really get to know each other. Next, below that, you'll see two other ones, one called One Thing That Describes Me, and the last one, Tiny Assignment, Physics in Science 10. I'll just ask you to do those ones too uh, as you work your way through following the Introduce Yourself activity. And of course, you'll see below that, this is where we have the real meat of the course. We have all the units. This is where the learning happens. We have unit four units, for unit A, unit B, unit C, and unit D. And within each unit, you'll see two modules. So for example, unit A has module one and module two. Unit B will have 3 and 4, Unit C will have 5 and 6, and Unit D will have 7 and 8. Each of those covers a different, topics in, uh, a different topic in physics. So let's say for the first one here, we click on Module 1 Intro. That will bring us to the introduction page to Module 1. And I just wanted to highlight a few of the navigation features within Moodle here. Um, <coughs> first of all, you'll see the table on the far right, top right hand corner here, you'll see the table of contents. This is where we uh, this is where Moodle separates this book into all of its pages. You can see there are a few lessons. Lesson 1 intro and then there are a few pages within Lesson 1. Lesson one, lesson 2 intro and then there are a few pages within Lesson 2. And it works its way through. So within Module 1 there are five lessons. And on each of the intro pages it briefly introduces what the topic is that you'll be talking about and then you'll notice at the bottom there will be a lesson assignment. Okay, I'll ask you to download that and save it to your drive so that you can fill that out when you're done lesson one. And there's one of these for each one, for each lesson throughout the course. And when you're done those lessons, you'll do the assignments and hand the assignments into an inbox that I'll have on the back on the main page. So one way to navigate we see is the table of contents. Another way to navigate is through the breadcrumbs that you'll see at the top here. And when you want to get back to the main page, you can just click on P20. It'll take you back to the Physics 20 page. To navigate within the book, you can go to the next page in Lesson 1, and it brings you to Module 1 Intro, Page 2. And this is where we'll see Page 2 of the Lesson 1. So let's go back to the main page. There, and I think that's pretty much everything. Um, if you do have any questions as you're working your way through the course, please don't hesitate to send me a quick email.